When I was 21 I can't remember the last time I've been more excited to debut a card onto my team as I am today. If you guys watched the video yesterday, you know that 99 overall Carlos Beltran has been added into the game. He is available on the ticket counter. You have to be a diamond level 99 to get him. And he's 15,000 tickets. By far the most expensive guy we've seen on the ticket counter this year. But, uh... <laughs> He's pretty worth it. I mean, these numbers kind of speak for themselves, guys. 81-84 contact, 99-95 power, 80 vision. He's got 83 speed and 97 stealing. He's going to run all over the bases, and he's going to be able to track down balls. The only downside, I guess the only downside he really has is the 74 arm strength. Like, that's not great, but it's it's still, that 74, that's not that bad. This is like the complete five tool player. He can do it all. Not to mention he's a switch hitter. He's good from both sides of the plate. And honestly, he has like one of my favorite stances in the game. Tim Coogs, my creative player, actually uses Carlos Beltran's stance. I love Carlos Beltran in the show. I cannot wait to get his debut going. Here's a look at the squad. I'll show you guys kind of what I've done with the team to kind of fit him in there because as you guys know, my team is pretty stacked, bro. I have a very, very good team. So what I did for this episode is I put Carlos Beltran in left field and I put Mike Trout at first base. But what I'm most likely going to end up doing is just switching those two guys. I feel like I'm going to put Trout back in left field. Trout has a little bit better arm strength and then Carlos Beltran can just play that corner infield position. Yeah, it's kind of making the defense go to waste at first base, but there's literally just no other spot to put him in. I'm not moving Griffey and I'm not moving Dawson. So Trout and Beltran... They're going to have to platoon it. But guys, we're going to get into this gameplay. Drop a thumbs up on this video if you do enjoy it. Let's get a dub today, man. Let's go. Carlos Beltran, two homers in his debut. Can we do it? I think we can. Also, with this new addition of another 99 to my team, my rating mod is out of control. I'm literally just going to be playing like good players all the time now. Look at this. We're playing the Hollywood Stars. He's got 99 Beltron. Here we go, baby. Derek Jeter, Andre Dawson, Griffey, Ripken, Seeger, Brooks Robinson, Freddie Freeman. And we're facing CeCe, usually one of the easier lefties to face. He is 20 and 6, we're 21 and 6. This is about to be a good matchup. Okay, so he's got Carlos Beltran leading off. Let's see how he does in his first at bat for the opponent. Taking a fastball right there. There's already a shift on him, as you guys can see. Second base is playing deep in uh, right field, or shallow in right field, I mean, but he's not swinging. Oh, 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 we pulled the string on him, boys. He was too early. Sitting fastball. Let's give him that changeup again, but low and inside. Hit your spot right here, Chris Archer. And, hey, we're getting Beltron to pop up. So he's not doing any damage against us yet. Two seam inside to Dawson right here. This could be a dangerous pitch, but it's right to Cal. He's too good out there. He's not going to make an error. One, two, three, first inning. Great job. Great start for Chris Archer. Let's get a run. 1-0 count to Tim Coogs. Oh, man. He gave me the off speed, the little slider, but I popped up to right. All right, we got the lefty-lefty matchup. Hopefully, he gives me that high and inside fastball. I'm totally going to drive it if he does. And he gave it to me, but it was a little bit over the middle of the plate, so I didn't have my PCI perfectly square. And that's another fly out. Yeah, man, it was just, I had to move it a little bit more towards the middle of the plate in order to really do some damage on that pitch. Mike Trout, come on, get through there, big guy. Get through there. Nope, that's Cal. That's an easy play for him. So nothing happening for us in the first inning either. There we go. This should be Carlos Beltran's first opportunity, and he is not letting me down. Edit, baby, Carlos B. Here we go, dudes. Bottom of the second. First at bat of the game for Carlos Beltran. Hitting in the cleanup spot. We're taking a fastball low. I just want to be able to get a hit. Like, I really wish he had the left handed stance going right now. I like hitting with him left handed, but, uh, you know, got to play the matchup. So it's 1 1 count through two low pitches. Maybe one of these times he'll throw high. Hopefully. And there it is. Come on. Come on, Beltron. Come on, Beltron. Did he get out on this first at bat? No. We got warning track power. Or almost warning track power. Oh, how'd we miss it? Oh, there it is. There's the first hit of the game. Brooks Robinson taking a double into the gap. That's Dawson, though. That's going to be a close play. Ooh, he barely got in there. All right, so now I know he's looking high fastball, so I just can't go there again. All right, I'm going to give Freeman a high and away two-seamer. 
That got too much of the plate, man. It didn't move out of the zone. I missed my spot. That's a two-run bomb. We're already in a deficit, yo. Thanks, Freddie Freeman. Thanks for being a buzzkill. All right, guys. Next at bat for Carlos Beltran. Just because he got a run does not mean this game is over, so I still have to be very, very careful wherever I pitch to Carlos Beltran. Like, this fastball low and in could be very dangerous. Oh, man. If I keep missing my spots like that, it's going to be a long day. All right. 3-1 count. Really having trouble finding the strike zone right now. All right, we got him to pull off that changeup. That is good. Uh, he's early on it. So I'm going to go back to that changeup. If he's early on it, he's really sitting fastball. See if I can just get him to swing early again. Yes, there it is. Roll over to second base. I think that was pretty smart pitching right there. All right, dudes. It is the bottom of the fourth inning. We don't have a hit yet, but I've literally only made CC throw 21 pitches through three innings. So... I really have to be more patient and I really have to be selective start working some counts because right now that is not gonna cut it We're not gonna get anything going if he stays at this low of a pitch count two strikes to Tim Cougs We got to defend right here got to defend that's a good swing But man nothing will find a hole right now guys I'm hitting the ball hard, but it's just going right to people or it's not finding a gap There's two outs in the fourth. We still don't have a base runner this game. Come on trout. Come on get through Oh my god, what does a man have to do to get a hit in this game? Alright dudes, bottom of the fifth, we still don't have a hit. Like, this is ugly. This is really bad. We've got Beltron up. Come on, Beltron. Yes, there we go. Carlos Beltron giving it a first hit. Is that a bomb? Oh, it's off the freaking wall. Right on the 830 sign. I would think about going to third, but right now we need base runners. Carlos Beltron's first hit, though, is a double. Let's go, man. That's why that card is so good. And then right up the middle... <gasps> No! Oh my god, what a play. Is that Corey Seager? I can't even be mad about that. That's a hell, that's a web gem right there. Hell of a play. Like, this has been one of my weaker hitting games in the past few weeks, but it's not even that bad. There we go, finally! Cal Ripken Jr., the crazy good numbers against lefties on a 3-0 count, slaps it to right field. That gets our first run of the game. And thank goodness we got him in there. Let's go, Seager. Keep this inning alive, kid. O or just pop up. Third time around the order, guys. We've got to face Beltron again. I, it's literally any time I'm going to face this card, it is going to be scary. It doesn't matter if it's in the first inning to lead it off or if it's in the ninth inning with bases loaded two outs. Any time I'm going to have to face this Beltron card, it is going to be nerve-wracking. Oh, my gosh. I thought he got a hold of it right there. I really did. But it's an easy fly out for Ken Griffey Jr. The kid's making the catch. Seventh inning is starting, boys. We've got Trout, Beltron, and Dawson. You can't ask for three better bats to come to the plate. He's calling on Darren O'Day. Okay, I'd still, I'd rather face a righty than uh, CC Sabathia. But we're still grounding out because we suck. But now Beltron gets to hit from the left side of the plate at least. That's, that's always nice, right? So let's see what he can do. Can he do damage in his third at bat? He already hit a double. Let's get a dinger on that. Did he get it? Oh, so early. Whoa, right into the shift. Right into the shift. I guess that's one of the downsides of Carlos Beltran is he's got that shift. Because I hit that ball so good. I hit that ball so well. That should have been a hit, but unfortunately the shift did me like that. But Dawson's keeping it alive with two down. Freddie Freeman, we're swinging first pitch. He's got the first pitch quirk. Come on. Come on. Why is everything just right to people? Can I find a gap, please? I really need to get Kyle Schwarber out right here because the next guy at the plate is Beltron. Oh, this is huge. This is huge. Make a catch. Yes, Carlos. Yes, Carlos. Okay. Oh, my God, guys. This is stressful. We've got Beltron at the plate now with Freeman at first. And Beltron is taking it deep. Come on, Dawson. Come on, Dawson. Oh, no. and Beltron. The one thing I was afraid of, and he did it. That is why Carlos Beltran is so deadly. He hits lefties and righties so good, and he's got such a clean swing. That ball can just travel, and that one, that one hurts, man. That one hurts. All right, bottom of the ninth. This is it, fam. This is it. This is our last chance. We've got the top of our order coming up. We're down by four, but I'm going to tell you what's going to happen. All three guys at the top of my order are going to get on base, and then Carlos Beltran's going to hit a grand slam. But that is what's been happening to me all game. I've been hitting the ball so hard, but it's going right to people. It's just literally not finding gaps. Like, I can't really swing the bat much better 
than that one I just did right there. That one was ugly. <sighs> but that, yeah, that, I feel like I've just given up at this point, but I'd really like Mike Trout to get a hit so Carlos Beltran could have one more at bat this game. Come on, Mike, don't go down without a fight, kid. Don't go down without a fight, kid. Yo, that's pretty deep. That might even be gone. Oh, my God. <laughs> How is that a ball? <laughs> okay, Carlos Beltran's getting his last at-bat, just like I wish. Let's go. Come on, Beltran. Go yard right here. Go yard right here. No. <laughs> Two times in one game, the shift against Beltran had killed me. Well, there you guys go, man. Unfortunately, I wasn't really able to do much this game. I got two runs, which was fine, but... This, it was a pretty good pitching matchup for most of the game. Once it started getting to the 8th and ninth inning, that's where things started to take a little bit of a turn. But, but it was a well-pitched game, a good game to my opponent. CC went 6 for him, 6 strong innings. Chris Archer went 8 innings for me, only... No, he gave up 4 earned runs. I thought he only gave up 2 earned runs, but I guess not. Carlos Beltran, 1 for 4 with a double and a run scored. Thankfully, Cal Ripken drove him in. And then, of course, Mike Trout hits bomb, but... Was it enough to beat Hollywood? It really does not matter to me what my rating is because I'm already at World Series, so I only lost 15 points, but I'm, it literally doesn't matter. The season ends tomorrow night, and I already have the highest reward possible. So, But dudes, that is going to do it. GG to my opponent. Carlos Beltran will be on the squad for pretty much the remainder of the season. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed his debut. If you did, make sure to slap that like button. Make sure to hit it hard, boys. Make sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any MLB content. We do this every day here, so join the freak. Team. But thank you guys for watching. I will see you in the next video. Peace.